everyone, this is a heart sound recording of a patient. He's uh, 56 years old, and uh, he's definitely having some issues. Um, this particular area looks pretty good. I mean, on both on uh, both particular sections, or at least this particular section, it doesn't look bad. This is this is from 11:13, and this is from 12:4. And you look at that, that looks actually pretty normal. He's got a little bit of an extra pop there, a little bit extra contraction. Um, nothing major. Go to tricuspid area, and you see something a little unusual there. Uh, again, here you can see the muscle is kind of doing this while it's contracting. And you can see that all the way across. So you're not getting a solid contraction. You're not getting any rest in between the beats. Goes into another beat, no rest. You know, actually, I'm sorry, this is the contraction end of it and no rest really. And you get a little bit there, but you can see how that line is. So that says that the heart is still vibrating. So you're not getting a solid contraction. And this wasn't consistent, thank God. And uh, so you can see part of it is fine. And then you see that again there. Um, and that's it there. But again, on this visit here, this is 12-4. You can see, I think there was a little bit towards the end. Nope, that actually looked pretty good all the way through. So that one looked actually okay. So you can see that there's a big difference between the two of those. All right, so we go to the aortic area of the heart. Again, you can see there's definitely some work that even needs to still be done. But comparatively speaking, let's just look at this section. We're going to bring this across. So you can see a lot of fluctuation there. Bring it further across, you can see more, more. Again, having a rough go. His heart's having a bit of a rough go there. So again, here, 12-4, not so bad. Looks very good. So you just still have a little bit. Like I said, he still needs some work, but that's a heck of a lot better than that is. So we go to pulmonic, and that one's really wild. So you can see again, see the fluctuation of the heart all the way through here uh, let's bring it over and you see it settles a little bit and um, all right, so you can see kind of how that looks very similar to the other ones and when we get down in here now guys all we're doing is handling this with basic nutrition that's all we're doing with this and uh, you can see how nice that is that actually looks a lot better so uh, this isn't uh, rocket science or anything like that. It's just understanding how these systems work, uh, what the heart actually needs to function correctly. And you have to also understand if the heart is not, if the heart doesn't have the nutrients it needs to function, then the rest of the body is well depleted because the heart is actually the first thing to eat in the body. It's the first thing to absorb nutrients because it's the main thing that has to keep functioning for the rest of the body to continue to operate. And if that's depleted, which this shows depletions, and these are B depletions, uh, they're fatty acid depletions, um, you can, you know, they show up here. So it's very easy to see what you're looking at. And you see a depleted body here, and then you don't see a depleted body there. So you can see that the body's, you know, getting the proper nutrients and the, and the body's now starting to heal. So that's really the purpose behind this. We're really looking at those deep nutritional deficiencies that people don't even know they have. So always remember, a well-nourished body is a happy body.